is the back of the heart. First, you need to identify where all of the vessels are. The front of the heart, and I usually use my finger to kind of probe into there, but this vessel at the top of the heart is actually the pulmonary artery. Kind of work your finger in there. That's the pulmonary. And then directly behind it is the aorta. The aorta, aorta sits more towards the middle of the heart. And they kind of cross each other. So if I have both of my fingers in there, they kind of cross. Now this little branch of the aorta right there is called the brachiocephalic. On some of the hearts, if the aorta is cut too low, you don't see the brachiocephalic. But on this one, you see the three vessels on the top of the heart, the pulmonary artery, the aorta, and the brachiocephalic. On the back side of the heart, you should be able to find the opening here into the right side of the heart, which is the oof, superior vena cava. And then on the other side of the heart, the opening is the pulmonary vein. We are going to make a cut in the heart. This model over here. Okay, so if we were to compare it to the model, there's the pulmonary. This is the pulmonary. There's the aorta. Here's the aorta. Here's the superior vena cava. Here's the superior vena cava. We are going to make an attempt to cut the heart in the same way that this model is cut, so that the face of the heart pulls off like that. And to do that, the best utensil is a scalpel. And I'm going to position the scalpel up here and cut this way. is a muscle, so you do have to actually put a little bit of work into the cut. Here we go. Spin that up. And it's not entirely perfect. Here, look at the model. Open. Open. And then from the inside, you can see some of the structures. Again, orient yourself here. We have the front of the heart. So this is the left side of the heart, which would include the bicuspid or the mitral valve right there. The mitral valve is held in place by these strings called the chordae tendinae which attach to a muscle there called the papillary muscles. The heart is divided into the left and right side via the septum. And this side is, again, if we orient ourselves, this is the right side of the heart. So on this side we have, and I didn't cut it perfectly straight, but you have the tricuspid right there. And then also chordae tendinae attaching it. The tricuspid and the bicuspid are also both called atrioventricular valves. Now once the heart is cut, you can actually see the direction or the way the vessels enter each of the chambers. Right now I'm going through the pulmonary vessel. This way. And out it goes on the right side of the heart pulmonary vessel on the model, there it goes into the right side of the heart. If I do the aorta, I stick my finger in there, it crosses and goes into the left side of the heart. The left side of the heart is more muscular because it has to push all of the blood out the aorta, which is going to go to the rest of the